Some things are better left unsaid, but even more are best left unshared. Eons, the rise and fall of powerful individual kingdoms and empires have often hinged on a single revealed secret. Secrets wield power, serving as boss shields and swords guarding us or leading to our undoing. But what if there are some secrets that are so vital, essential that they should never be revealed to just anyone? The ancient Stoics knew the secrets well, and they practiced a discipline of silence and discretion that protected them from harm and preserve their dignity in this video. We will discuss 10 subjects that recommend you keep secrets as a stoic and never reveal to anyone that all of them are crucial and interconnected. So stay tuned until the end of the video to find out why one of the silent battles you're waging. Stoics fight silent battles behind. Every face you encounter there's a universe of stories. Some sung aloud, but most kept silent. Narratives woven from challenges and personal struggles often hold immense power because they mold us and shape our perspectives and push us to our limits. But just as the toughest steel is forged in the hottest fire, so are we through these internal battles. Epicus Subli reminds us that if it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it matters. Nestled within these words is the echo of countless moments when we've battled with our thoughts weighed down by burdens the world knows nothing about. Now, does this mean we should bot leave everything up? No, but it's about deciding who to confide in and when you see. Everyone may hear, but not all. Listen, and fewer still understand choosing to reveal these battles is a prerogative, and one should tread carefully sharing it only with those who have earned the privilege of your trust. Today, there's an ever-present urge to live life out in the open, especially with the ubiquitous presence of social media platforms. It feels like everyone is sharing everything. But there's immense strength in selective sharing. Let some battles remain yours and yours alone. They are a testament to your resilience. Personal Medal of Honor And while it's human nature to seek solace in others, remember that not every ear is tuned to the depth of your song. Sometimes the music of your struggles is the best. Appreciated in the silent sanctuaries of your own heart after all, as the Stoics believed real transformation often thrives in quietude too. The whispers of Stoics never reveal self-doubt. Self-doubt. Have you ever stood at the edge of a decision only to be pulled back by the hushed voices of uncertainty about these soft whispers? Am I good enough? What if I fail clandestine residents of the men nudging us away from our potential while it's tempting to shout out these insecurities, hoping someone will refute a stoic understands the gravity of keeping them sheltered, at least until they're fully acknowledged and addressed. Why do you ask? For it's not external events that trouble you, but your own judgments about them. This insight borrowed from the ancient corridors of stoicism suggest that confronts our internal dialogues instead of amplifying them for the world. Can be a transformative experience the world, especially in its the current form, often has a way of magnifying our insecurities. You share a self-doubt and sudden, suddenly, there's a torrent of advice, much of it conflicting, adding to a cacophony of confusion. Instead, consider taking a different approaches engage with these whispers in the silent arena of introspection. Let your understanding Beth bomb, not the opinions of countless others, challenge these voices and converse with them, maybe even reason with them. Nowadays, where every emotion can quickly become a public spectacle, their sun mash power in cherishing solitude especially when taming the unruly voices. Of self-doubt, they need your undivided attention, not the world's, isn't it wiser? To first mend the leaks in a boat privately, rather than inviting an audience to watch it. Sink three in your future. Stoics don't reveal their future plans. Plans have you ever felt the weight off another's gaze on you, curious about your next move. There's something deeply empowering about holding on to your future plans with a quiet dignity rather than letting them become dinner tables. Chatter about your aspirations, dreams, and ambitions are yours to cherish by not revealing every detail. You maintain an element of mystery and unpredictability. We live in an age where everyone's so eager to share, 
Yet their strength in keeping your cards close letting action speak louder than word history offers countless examples of individuals who prematurely boast about their plans only to watch them crumble. Take Napoleon Bonaparte, his military genius was unparalleled, but his overconfidence, broadcasted plans, and underestimation of his opponents often became his Achilles. The Battle of Waterloo serves as a poignant reminder that is revealing too. Much can lead to one's downfall. Similarly, business moguls like Howard Hughes was notorious for keeping their ventures close to their chest, ensuring competitors were always one step behind. It's a lesson in the power of unpredictability and the strategic advantage of discretion today. We were connected more than ever with social platforms tempting us to announce every intention, but stoicism reminds us that there's value in stepping back and taking a more measured approach by keeping your future plans secret. You not only protect your ambitions, but also grant yourself the freedom to adapt and change without external pressure, as Seneca's wisdom seamlessly weaves through our thoughts if a person doesn't know to which port they sail. No wind is favorable. It's a compelling reminder to set our course. But share it only when necessary. And mostly with oneself. Holding your future close doesn't mean you're afraid or unsure of on the contrary. It signifies a powerful understanding of the world's dynamic sure. Not withholding for the sake of secrecy. You're preserving the sanctity of your journey. Ensuring that when the, the world witnesses your steps. They are steadfast, deliberate, and always one move ahead of the temptation of excessive stoics. Never embrace excessive comfort. Comfort it might seem counterintuitive, but there's an inherent wisdom in keeping our regular foray outside of comfort a secret when you share every challenge, every venture outside your norm. The intent often shifts suddenly. You're seeking validation, applause for being so brave or bold, but the stoic approach isn't about external validation. It's about internal growth. The next time you decide to wake up and hour earlier to read or choose to walk. In the rain to feel alive, maybe keep it. To yourself, it's not a show. It's a personal journey, Marcus whispered through time. Is it for the sake of appearances or genuine progress? Historical records talk of Alexander the Great and his unparalleled conquests. Boot even amidst the luxuries. He cold summon would sleep on the ground and eat. The same name as his soldiers. He did this not for show, but to remind himself of the realities of life and not become lost in the haze of luxury and comfort. We might not be leading the starmies, but our battles are real. Challenges no less significant in our rapidly changing world where comfort ice often a click away. Remember that it's the wind, the rain, and the uphill paths that shape mountains similarly to our challenges, especially those we quietly embrace shape us. It's okay, bask in comfort, but do take a those secret strolls into the unfamiliar it's there that we find the versions of ourselves. We often forget there are five your vulnerabilities and weaknesses. It's stoics don't reveal their weaknesses. Said that every hero has an Achilles. Heal a vulnerable point that despite their strength can be their undoing humans in their beautifully imperfect nature is comprised of strengths and vulnerabilities. These vulnerabilities, the raw, tender parts of our psyche, deserve protection, not exposure. It's not about hiding or denying them, but about treating them with the reverence they merit. Man is affected not by events, but be the view he takes of them. Murmured a voice reminiscent of epic to subjusting. It's not our vulnerabilities that define us, but our perspective off them embracing vulnerabilities important markers of past one's lessons learned and even the fear of future battles. They're also deeply personal broadcasting of them can make us susceptible to external judgments, which can sometimes skew our own understanding or acceptance of them be privately acknowledging these points. We fortify ourselves, ensuring they are not exploited or misunderstood it gives us a chance to work on them to transform them from weak spots into areas of growth throughout history. Many figures were acutely aware of their vulnerabilities, but chose to keep them close by using them as motivators rather than deterrents. Abraham Lincoln, for instance, faced numerous failures and battle bouts of Mel Call instead of publicizing these struggles, internalized them, allowing them to shape his empathy and leadership 
Conversely, Julius Skeezer's vulnerability was his trust in close allies, culminating in his tragic end to the IDS off-march. These historical episodes underscore the importance of recognizing our vulnerabilities and handling them with care. And ensuring they don't become or undoing oversharing is the norm these days. Pressure to bear one's soul to pute everything out in the open can be overwhelming. Yet there's power in selective silence. Recognize your vulnerabilities, cherish them, and work on them. But don't feel obligated to lay them out for the world to dissect it's is it okay to keep some pages of your book. Closed after all mysteries have their own allure and strength, sometimes lean the chapters left and read six of your personal stoics. Never reveal personal grievances grievances. They say carrying grudges is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to perish. It's a heavy weight on the shoulders is a constant murmur in the ear, and more often than at useless endeavor, however. Choosing to process personal grievances internally, as astoics promote inner equilibrium and self-mastery, choosing not to vent every irritation. You cultivate inner resilience, learning to tackle problems internally without scattering your energy outward. It's a touch reminiscent of Epictetus who once mused, it's not things that upset us, but our judgment about things consider this when you share every annoyance or frustration you're not on like perpetuating negativity, but also so subtly seeking validation for your feelings by holding back introspecting. You allow yourself the time to question, is this grievance valid? Can I control it? Should it affect my state of mind, such as introspection, often leads to a realization that many of our grievances are transient, unworthy of our energy, and for those that are valid tackling them head-on rather than just discussing them can be far more satisfying and productive peering back through the corridors of time. We uncover stories of those who let their personal grievances consume them ultimately to their own detriment. Consider the tragic story Othan Burr and Alexander Hamilton mutual animosity culminated in a deadly duel a result of years of public and personal grievances, both men paid dearly Hamilton with his life, and Burr with his reputation, and later his own melancholic reflection on his choices. Their story serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of letting personal grievances dictate own actions in today's fast-paced society, often pushes us to vent as a form of therapy. But Stoicism advises the opposite. It's about addressing grievances internally, understanding their roots and acting with wisdom, rather than impulsiveness the next time you feel that familiar sting of annoyance. Consider whether voicing this is necessary. Grievance will change anything, or if it merely serves to stir the pot because sometimes silence is the most powerful. Response and peace, the ultimate victory seven. Your personal achievement stoics keep their personal successes to themselves and successes, there's a quiet satisfaction in achieving something at big or small. Yet the rush of the, the modern world often compels us to broadcast these moments as the stoic path, however, urges us to embrace and cherish our accomplishments internally rather than seeking external validation. Why? Because validation from within is sustainable. It's genuine broadcasting. Achievements can sometimes dilute their significance turning profound personal millstones into mere conversation. Topics this isn't to diminish the joy of sharing successes with loved ones, is a call to be discerning to realize that not every victory needs an audience. It's about knowing the difference between sharing joy and seeking validation when we internalize and deeply appreciate our own growth and achievements. We become self-reliant. Drawing strength from within this self-reliance is a shield protecting us from the unpredictably been flow of external praise and criticism, and history offer many tales off those who shouted their successes from the rooftops, only to face unforeseen consequences. Take the legend of Icarus. Though not a real historical figure, the tale is grounded in humanity that spans ages, elated by the thrill of flight. He soared too close to the sun defies his father's cautions. His wax and wings melted and had plummeted into the sea. His hubris need to push boundaries for the sake of pride and recognition became his undoing. Encouraging success with humility does not downplay its significance. 
It reinforces us the modern era with its constant connectivity poses unique challenges. Boot it also offers opportunities for the next when you achieve something. Take a moment, feel it, cherish it, then decide thoughtfully whom to share it with eight stoics. Never reveal the quiet desires of their hearts. The quiet desires of your heart. Have you ever stumbled upon a tiny seemingly insignificant thing that made your heart skip a beat? Perhaps it was a dream you'd tucked away a simple desire. To learn a new instrument, or perhaps dance under the rain with these small personal yearnings often remain. Whispers easily drowned in the cacophony of our and our daily lives. It's quite natural to want to share these fleeting moments. Tiny ambitions with others, a little voice tells us to share it. And it becomes real. But does it happen more often than not? Voicing these dreams prematurely might lead to them getting trampled upon by the unasked opinions of others. Note everyone will understand why you want to learn to play the ukulele, or why you've suddenly taken up gardening. And that's perfectly all right as a silent stoic. A philosopher once said threading wisdom through the centuries, dreams whisper it of the heart are for the soul, not the crowd looking back in history, the revered philosopher Socrates never penned down his thoughts on most of what we what we know of him comes from his student Plato. Dot. But there's something intriguing here. The absence of Socrates' direct writings lend an air of mystery around his true beliefs, his personal desires, and what little desires did he harbor. We may never know. And that's the beauty of it. It's a powerful reminder that not everything needs to be laid bare. Some treasures are best kept close to the chest. Take a moment today, in a world where everything is on display to save the dreams you haven't yet shared. Let them grow in thessalences of your heart, and when they are strong enough to face the world. Both applause and criticism, then maybe let them out. Then guard them, for they are your secret strength, your quiet. Song of hope, they're the magic waiting to happen on your terms, and at your pace. Nine. Your personal progress when a Stoics never reveal their personal progress. Caterpillar cocoons. There's a profound transformation occurring with invisible to the external world. Just imagine if that caterpillar felt the need to broadcast each tiny advancement. It wouldn't just be distracting. It might even hinder its metamorphosis. Much like this natural I wonder there's an undeniable sanctity in keeping the details of personal growth to himself every stride you take towards bettering yourself with every newfound understanding or self-realization is a treasure. But here's the kicker. Not all treasures are meant for display. Some are meant to felt to resonate within the depths of your being now. This isn't to advocate for absolute silence. Sharing can be therapeutic, even motivational, for others. However, the Stoics emphasize the significance of reflection over proclamation. Seneca is weaving his wisdom into words once conveyed. As long as you live, keep learning how tall of notice he didn't say keep telling everyone. No matter how you live, we live in a time where documenting life has almost become second nature. The rush to tweet a thought to share a personal milestone on Instagram or a vlog about inner struggles can sometimes overshadow the essence of the experience itself before you share. Pause. Ask yourself, is this for validation or genuine connection difference matters? Drawing once more. From the Stoics, and perhaps reflecting upon Marcus Aurelius' meditations, there's a grounding realization that the universe is transformation in life is in my opinion. Transformation is a deep life personal journey and opinions about it tear many as you navigate the vast waters of personal growth. Sometimes it's more powerful to rose silently than tone outs every turn. Ultimately, the final destination, your evolved self will speak louder than any update ever could tend the Stoics never reveal emotions. Gentle E.B. and flow of your emotion likes canvas is painted with the broad strokes of happiness, sorrow, love, anger, and countless other emotions. While it's common nowadays to publicly wear our emotions on our sleeves, especially in an era of real-time status updates and stories, there's excellent power in holding some feelings. The act of restraint is not about suppression. Rather, it's about understanding that feelings are deep like personal experiences are often complex and multifaceted sharing them in real time. Might not always capture their true essence, 
and at times, the external world isn't gentle with raw emotions as a stoic might subtly remind us of emotions. When softly held, unfold in their own rhythm revealing layers, we often miss in haste to think about the renowned stoic Marcus Aelius, Emperor of Rome. And yet his personal reflections were filled with profound emotions were captured in his private notes, which we now know as meditations. These were not grand public proclamations, but intimate musings meant for himself, his hesitance to public display every moment of introspection. Gives us a mirror of our own lives. How often do we pause to truly sit with our feelings before projecting them outward? Today's world praises the quick to reek but remember. There's wisdom in allowing emotions to settle to truly understand them before sharing, not everything. Warrants an immediate post or story, feelings when preserved and reflected upon maturing into deeper understandings or transform into something else entirely. So next time emotions surge, perhaps give them space and let them breathe. They are after all your personal journey through the vast landscape of life and not every journey needs an audience our best traveled solo, only to be shared. When the heart truly wishes, thank you. Conclusion thank you for joining us on this journey. Support is the cornerstone that allows us to keep bringing enlightening content to every corner of the world if there's a topic or an idea you'd like Tozy explored further. Don't hesitate to drop it in the comments. It's what fuels our mission is to deliver even more. Profound insights to you. And of course, see if you found value in today's content, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Button. Let's keep the flame of knowledge burning bright together before you go. Check out this video on anti-stoic habits that might be lurking in your daily routine.